What is autoantibody pathogenicity? Uh, as you know, we produce antibodies to uh, protect us from different pathogens. But we know for a long time that we also produce autoantibodies that are antibodies directed against some self components. Having a small amount of autoantibody does not necessarily mean that you have a disease. But some of these antibodies cause disease. And so the pathogenicity of autoantibodies is the fact that some autoantibodies can cause disease. So if you want an example, the best example is a disease called myasthenia gravis. Uh, in this disease, you have autoantibodies that target the receptor for acetylcholine. And so uh, if uh, you have a blockade here, of course, the transmission of the neural influx to the muscle is blocked, and it gives you some time of paralysis. And what is uh, important here is that if you have the autoantibody, you are sick, and if you don't have the autoantibody, you are not. And how do we know that? Because of, uh, of the mothers uh, who are pregnant, so the IgG can go through the placenta to uh, the, the, the fetus, and the newborn can have a neonatal form of disease. So it means that if you transfer the antibody, you have the disease. But now the baby is not sick because he does not produce the autoantibodies. So he will get rid of these autoantibodies and he will not be uh, sick anymore. Mm -hmm. So it really tells us how uh, antibody can be pathogenic. And we have numerous other examples like autoantibodies that can uh, target red blood cell and give you hemolytic anemia or the platelets, or well, we have other examples, the muscle we may be talking about mm -hmm. also. Um, so, so we are interested in a group of rare diseases that affect the muscle, so collectively they are called myositis. And uh, one form of myositis was recently discovered because some patients who uh, take the drug statins against cholesterol uh, is very rare. And so you should not be scared of getting this complication. But uh, some patients had a very severe, severe um, necrotic muscle disease. And so it was important to, to understand this. So some antibodies were discovered. Uh, and uh, we were interested to know uh, whether it was just a biomarker, which means I, I have a disease, I have an antibody, but it is just a marker, it does not cause disease, or if the antibody causes disease. And why is it important? Because of therapy, because we would like to know whether uh, we have to target this production of autoantibodies as the, the objective of the treatment. So uh, when we perform some researches in vitro and in vivo uh, and take the antibodies from the patient, transfer them into the mouse and see that the mouse gets sick. So it tells us that uh, the antibodies are really pathogenic. The role of complement, because uh, the lysis of the, lysis of the muscle cell is dependent on the complement. And so it gives us some uh, hints uh, that we should target complement and autoantibodies rather than other uh, mechanisms. Mm -hmm. Also, we have been involved in uh, uh, developing immunoassays uh, to, uh, to, to, to give the good diagnosis of patients with muscle de deficiency. Mm -hmm. And uh, sometimes it can be tricky because uh, these diseases can mimic some genetic diseases. And uh, so you look for the genes, you don't find a mutation, and the patient goes worse and worse. And if we find an autoantibody, we know that we can give an immunosuppressive therapy, and this is important for the patient, so uh, it contributed to this field uh, in that way. Uh, well, it's not ELISA, we like the, uh, what is called ALBIA, uh, and it also refers to Luminex. Mm -hmm. It is a form of cytometry where you have beads, the antigen on the beads, and when the antibody uh, binds to the bead, you can detect them. And the interest of that is that it, it is very robust, it's very reproducible assay, but also it can be multiplexed. So you can assay several antigens at the same time. So uh, it, it is, uh, 
it is the way we prefer. But now uh, some commercial tests are available with different techniques, mm -hmm. and uh, it is uh, getting uh, more and more uh, easy to assay these antibodies. But at one time, uh, I received uh, in the, the hospital laboratory many serum from over Europe and, and the world because we could assay these antibodies before there was a test available. 